Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drawbin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the failed remote flashing is not allowed for critical partitions error. So this issue is happening because you are flashing the file in the fastboot mode. To fix this issue, you will have to flash the file in the fastboot D mode and that's just about it. It's as simple as it gets. Just make sure that the bootloader is currently unlocked, which is quite along the obvious line. If the bootloader is currently logged, then you will first and foremost have to unlock the bootloader. For that, I have made a separate guide. You may re refer to my guide and unlock the bootloader. Once you have unlocked the bootloader, which will wipe off all the data from your phone as well. Anyway, once you have unlocked the bootloader, you will then have to boot your phone to the fastboot D mode and then flash the required file and you will no longer get this error message. So for booting your phone to the fastboot D mode, there are two approaches you could either do so from the OS or from the fastboot mode. If you are currently in the fastboot mode, then you could use this command. Let me show you. First and foremost, you will have to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I have done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. Once you have done the extraction, type in CMD in the address bar of platform tool folder and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in fastboot devices and hit enter. This is for those users who are currently in the fastboot mode. So type in fastboot devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you'll have to install fastboot drivers. I have made a separate guide and a video on the same. You can refer to my guide and get this job done. Once you have installed the drivers, right click on the windows icon and select device manager and expand the Android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that the PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So now you will just have to use the command fastboot reboot fastboot and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into the fastboot D mode. Do keep in mind that this screen will vary depending on the phone that you are using. Currently I'm using a Poco F5 and this is the fastboot D mode in my case. This is a fastboot D mode for a custom recovery for a custom ROM. I am currently using an alpha droid custom ROM. So it's the custom recovery fastboot D mode. So the custom, the fastboot D mode varies depending on the ROM as well as the OEM that you are using. So let me show you a screen for instance, this is for the stock pixel phone. The one that you are seeing currently is for the a custom ROM that does not matter. If you're using a custom ROM or the stock ROM that does not matter. Just make sure that you are in the fastboot D mode. Once you're in the fastboot D mode, you could now flash the required files. And with this, you will no longer get the error message. Apart from that, let me show you how to boot your phone to the fastboot D mode from the OS. Let me show you that command as well. Let's wait for a phone to boot to the OS. The steps are applicable across all the phones. Just make sure that you have unlocked the bootloader beforehand. And once you have checkmarked that requirement, nothing else matters. You will just have to flash the file in the fastboot D mode and your task stands complete. As of now, I've shown you how to boot your phone to the fastboot mode via the fastboot D mode from the fastboot mode. Let me now show you how to boot your phone to the fastboot D mode from the ADB mode. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, go to system. You should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. And with this debugging is enabled. Let's verify the same. So open the CMD window inside platform tool folder and type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, now just type in ADB reboot fastboot and hit enter and your phone will now directly reboot to the fastboot D mode. It will skip the fastboot screen and directly boot to the fastboot D mode. Let me show you that as well. And it will take a few seconds for that to happen. And as you could see, we are now in the fastboot D mode and you could now flash the required file and you will not get any issue or error message as such as far as the flashing goes. So there is a major confusion that which file should be flashed in the fastboot mode and what or file should be flashed in the fastboot D mode. So in this regard, while there is no general or specific rule as such, but generally these are the files which are to be flashed in the fastboot mode. And these are the files which we usually flash in the fastboot D mode. So you could keep a track of that. I will give this command sheet in my guide as well. I will link it onto my guide and you could go through these commands. Just make sure that it's not a universal or strict rule, 
but generally this is the case that these are the files which are flashed in the fastboot d mode and the usual files such as the boot ddbo vb meta and vendor files are flashed in the fastboot mode if you are not sure you may check out this command sheet as well or else if you are sure then simply flash the file in the fastboot d mode and you will no longer get the error message so guys on that note i round off this video if you still have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching